Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about a website called sketchfab.com. Now we've been working with them quite a bit to create an easy way for Lightwave users to upload your models to their website. Sketchfab features an easy way for uh, potential employers and other users to view your models in 3D all directly uh, inside your browser. So let's jump right into it and I'll show you the do's and don'ts. So when you first download the Sketchfab plugin for Lightwave from the Sketchfab website, you're going to get a zip folder containing these two files, a .py file and then also the Sketchfab uploader. What you want to do with those is copy them and paste them into your Lightwave 11.6.3 support plugins all the way up to your master plugins folder for layout. Once you paste those in there, right here I got Sketchfab PY, Sketchfab Uploader. In Layout, they will be under the Utilities tab, Master Plugins, Add Layout or Scene Master, and then it's going to be Python Sketchfab. So when we click that, the interface launches, and you can see that it's very intuitive right away. So for title, I'm just going to call this Spider. And you can add a description if you want, or a tag, so people can search for them. You can make it private, you can add a password, so only uh, select people you choose can view it. Now the API key is something that Sketchfab is going to give you when you first sign up for their website. They're going to send you a confirmation email, and the API key will be included in that email. So you're going to want to copy that and paste it into this box right here. For rotate vertical axis, we're going to turn this off because we want the object to be oriented uh, how it is now. And then simply hit upload to Sketchfab. Now you're going to get a warning if your object contains sub patches. So warning, the scene contains sub patches. Do you want to freeze them? We're going to hit yes. Because Sketchfab needs hard surface models to be uploaded, not uh, sub patch models. So you'll see mesh freezing successful. Hit continue and then it will start uploading to the website. Okay, so Sketchfab upload success. So continue again. Now, when it asks you if you want to freeze the mesh, that is tied directly to the display sub patch level. So if we go to the object properties by hitting the P key, you'll see display sub patch level. If you want it to be any smoother than it is once it uploads, just increase the display sub patch level from this point on and then simply re-upload. So once you got the confirmation saying that it's uploaded successfully, we can open the dashboard. It'll launch your browser, take you directly to your models on Sketchfab. And this was the test I did previously. So I'm going to select the spider test that we just did. And the progress bar is now loading the textures. And you'll see that we have our model exactly as we had in layout. Now the way Sketchfab works for getting the textures onto the objects is that they need to be UV'd. They need to be baked into a color map, and that goes for anything. Uh, the, the specularity, the, any reflections, diffuse, um, any um, lights that you want to bounce off this object, it all has to be baked into a color map. So in Layout, in the Image Editor, if we launch our texture here, you'll see that everything is baked into the color map. And then in the surface editor, it's simply applied under the spider skin as the ZBrush UVs. Notice how there are no other attributes. The diffuse and specularity and reflection, this is all the default settings. The only thing that is different here is that we added the um, color map as a UV to the color texture editor. Now this spider is all on one layer, but what's cool about Sketchfab is that you can also have multiple objects in your layout scene not on the same layer in Modeler, and it will still upload just fine. For example, in this scene we have the Alien Emissary character and the Spider, and if we go in the Surface Editor, I'll just show you that for the Emissary under the skin, notice all the settings are at their defaults except for the color map to give this guy his uh, skin. So again, let's go to the Utilities tab, Master Plugins, let's add the Python Sketchfab, Under the title, I'm just going to call this Characters. I'm not going to type in any of the other information. I'm going to uncheck Rotate Vertical Access, and let's upload this. Notice it's going to give us the warning containing subpatches, so let's go ahead and freeze them. Now you can also go ahead and just freeze your models beforehand in Modeler if you would like to. Just hit Control D 
and that will freeze your mesh, but it just makes it a little easier to be able to do it directly inside of Layout using the Sketchfab plugin. Okay, the upload was a success. Let's open up the dashboard and check this out. Okay, so everything looks like it uploaded pretty nicely. We got the UV showing up on the head and for the eyes. Now I'm using the left mouse button to orbit around our characters. The right mouse button will dolly and the wheel on your mouse will zoom in and out. Check out the spider. Cool. So let's talk about one more thing, n-gons and triangulation. So using this logo here, I'm just going to turn on wireframe. You can see that one of the objects is a complete n-gon. All the text is and uh, the main logo, whereas this red pawn logo is triangulated. So if we go to launch the Sketchfab plugin, I'll just type in RP for red pond, uncheck rotate vertical access, we got our API key, and let's upload this. We're going to get a warning saying the scene contains 18 end guns, and that's all coming from the object on the left over here. You should triangulate them before uploading. Do you want to upload anyway? When you get this error, if you don't know that your scene contains n-gons, you can just hit no, it will not be uploaded. But in this scenario, just to show you what happens, I'm going to upload it anyway. So do you want to upload anyway? Yes. But I'm going to show you um, the difference between the triangulated object and the non-triangulated object with n-gons. So continue and open the dashboard. Okay, so you see our n-gon object is getting all types of uh, errors over here, whereas the triangulated one looks really nice and smooth. So that's going to be the main difference, and you definitely don't want that to happen on the left. So just triangulate your objects in Modeler before uploading them if it does have n-gons. But, um, you know, it's always nice to model uh, in quads and, and tries anyway. So again, for this red pond model, back in Layout, the only surface attribute that I have on it is the color red, and this is the only thing you can change on it if you don't have a UV map. So let's say you just want to upload a logo, something simple like this. Don't change any of the other settings, just change the color. Like I said, if you want to have specularity or reflection or some type of diffuse or luminosity um, effect going on, you're going to need to bake that into the color map and then apply it in the color texture editor. So we talked about uploading a single object. We talked about uploading multiple objects in layout that are not in the same layer in Modeler. And we also talked about uploading objects containing n-gons. Also real quick, once you finalize your model and you like how it looks in Sketchfab, you can embed that link onto social media sites such as Facebook and Twitter and Google+. And it's just a really great way to show off your work to potential employers rather than uh, simply looking at your demo reel. Now they can you know, rotate around it and uh, really check it out. So have fun with this and uh, be sure to download the plugin from sketchfab.com.